Hi everyone, this is Ramalinga Prasad Kuppa. Welcome to my channel, Pharma World. Happy New Year to you all. Today's topic is integration of peaks in chromatographic techniques. For quantitation of peaks in chromatographic techniques, the peaks must be integrated for the area computation. Knowledge of response factor for each peak is important for getting correct results. There are several methodologies for integration of chromatographic peaks. Let us understand in this video on such variant methods of integration of peaks. Types of integration There are five types of integrations done for estimation of peaks in chromatographic techniques. Response factor is the important point in all these five types of integration methods. Area normalization method. In this method, the response factor is considered as one. We will discuss more in the next coming up slide about this. Comparison with individual standard. In this method, each impurity is compared and estimated using a known concentration of same impurity standard using relative response factors. Here the response factor is relative response factor. It is the ratio of area of unit concentration of the sample versus unit concentration of another standard using API standard the diluted solution. In this all impurities are estimated using a single diluted standard of API internal standard method. In this ratio of response of the individual compound and the internal standard is considered. Peaks include individual impurities and the main compound. Area normalization method. In this method, the response of peaks is considered as one. This must be understood that the area counts per unit concentration for any peak is considered as one. That means if the area of 0.1% solution gives an area count of 1000 and if the area counts are 1500, 2000, 1800 or 2400 etc. for other peaks, the percentage of each peak will be 0.15%, 0.20%, 0.18% and 0.24% etc. Response means area counts per unit concentration of any peak. Area counts account for the area of the peak. The area counts that appear on the chromatogram data represents the area of the peak. Area counts increase with concentration. Obviously, if the concentration is more, the area will be more and the area counts also will be higher. Area counts of each peak divided by sum of areas of all peaks multiplied by 100 will give you percentage of each peak. This is how the individual peak percentage is computed. All peak percentages will add up to 100%. This is a simple logical point. Add up all the peak percentages, it will be 100% always. 
the example in the next slide will help you to understand the concept easily and completely see this typical chromatogram area counts of each peak divided by total of peak areas will give you concentration of the peak in percentage in this example the peak 3 area is 5144 and the total of peak areas will be 29814 and it will give you 17.3% after proper rounding off you can try with other peaks also you get same results as indicated in the table now add up all percentages you get 100% is it not simple to understand comparison with individual standard in this method responses for each peak can be significantly different this point is important to understand for example the area counts for a 0.1% methanol and area counts for 0.1% toluene will not be same the area counts for toluene will be much higher because structurally these two will respond differently on a pora pack q column in gc analysis so unit response factor is not valid here so many compounds will respond differently in gc or hplc analysis with different responses for same concentration response can vary from less than 1 to more than 1 or even more in such cases each peak area is compared with the area of known concentration of that particular peak so in such cases the response factor of each compound will be obviously same as a response factor of that compound so there will not be any adverse impact on accuracy of the peak estimation since the impurity is compared with the same impurity there is no reference to correction response factor this method is generally used effectively for estimation of individual impurities this is because the responses for each peak may not be same for all impurities see this typical chromatogram look at these superimposed chromatograms of standard and test this is the test chromatogram this is the standard chromatogram this superimposed picture identifies each impurity with the same retention time for test and standard peaks each peak is calculated using the area counts of each individual peak using relative response factors rrf estimation of impurity content is done by taking area counts response into consideration this point was discussed in earlier slide responses for each impurity will not be same response area and concentration are interrelated area counts per unit concentration will not be same in all cases so it is compared with another standard compounds area counts per unit concentration considering that standard compound as reference for certain unavailable impurity standards are hard to synthesize and elucidate the structure there is a provision to calculate the relative response factor for estimation of that impurity quantification of impurity by using external standards is difficult many times because of lack of insufficient amounts of impurities 
impurity isolation and synthesis is a difficult task and even should confirm its purity, quality and integrity by doing periodic assessments. Relative response factor is determined by response of impurity per unit concentration versus response factor for known standard unit concentration. Certain individual monographs provide RRF for estimation of impurities. The RRF is calculated as described here. Using API standard diluted solution. This is another method of determination of impurity content. In this method, it is considered that the response of each impurity is equivalent to the API main peak response where most of the impurities closely related to the API structure and the responses are same. This method is very useful for estimation of impurities. Generally, a 0.1% solution of the API standard solution is used for estimation of impurities. The area for 0.1% will be used to compare the area of individual peak for estimation. So area counts of 0.1% or any other monograph prescribed concentration of ABI will be used for estimation of other impurity peaks in the API. So sample peak area divided by the standard peak area multiplied by 100 will give you the concentration of that particular peak. The calculation is simple. Comparison of each impurity with the API diluted standard peak. In the calculation part, sample dilution factors and standard dilution factors must also be considered for getting correct results. This is obviously done for getting reliable output result. See this typical chromatogram. There are 17 peaks in the chromatogram. Let us suppose that the API standard retention time is 16 minutes and the peak for 0.1% solution is like this. Each individual peak is compared with this API diluted peak for estimation. In this case, total impurities will not be 100%. It will be 1% or 2% or more as per the individual specification. Internal standard method. In this method, there will be an additional known amount of reference standard, internal standard is added. This method is basically suitable in HPLC or GC analysis where there is a possibility of variation in injection volume for any reason. Variation in injection volume from one injection to the other can significantly give erratic results. Same amount of internal standard will be added in each test solution. This is to establish that same area counts are expected in each injection. That means if the injection volume varies, the area counts for internal standard and the compound area counts vary proportionally. Ratio of sample peak against the internal standard is considered for estimation of peaks. The above point can be understood easily with this statement. Even if there is a variation in area counts, the ratio will be constant. For example, for one injection, the area of the compound peak of interest and the internal standard peak are 100 and 200 respectively. The ratio would be 100 divided by 200, which is 0 0.5. By variation in injection volume, 
of the area count values may vary as 120 and 240 but still the ratio of 120 and 240 is same as 0 0.5 this is constant this ratio is considered for estimation of any peak this is the advantage in this type of analysis i hope the that the details on different types of integration of chromatographic peaks is understood well take some printed copies of chromatograms and check as explained in this video you will enjoy more thanks for watching for more videos please do subscribe like and share also please leave a message in comments box for any further support thank you